Well, we spent a lot of time talking about old children's TV shows around here. Take a look at one that uh, got its start right here at WGN. Take out your watches. Get out your clocks. And Emmy Joe, along with Freddie the Frog, Henrietta Hippo, and Charlie the Owl, made their debut right here on the old number nine 51 years ago. Just one of the many children's classics that called WGN home. Doug and Emmy Joe join us now from their home in Ohio. Hey! <laughs> I don't want to alarm you, but there is a giant <laughs> frog behind you. Hi. Hi. Hey, Chicago. How are you doing? Thank doing. you so much for having us on your program. Boy, you guys look fantastic. You guys look great. My God, you, is, you've been married 50 years, too? Uh, yeah, 53 years this year. Wow. And so tell us how all this started, how this show started. Was it, was it something like it was pitched as a way to sell a toy? That's a great question. What? Tell everybody how the show started. It's oh, all well. done. <laughs> Well, I, I wrote it while I was in college and uh, sat on my floor in my apartment and wrote the theme song and designed the, the sketch for the sets and the costumes, came up with the characters, and we auditioned it for Mattel Toys. And uh, next thing we knew, the set was being built and we were doing the pilot. So it was like a Cinderella story. He, he wrote all the time. He was constantly writing. Yeah, 600 wrote, songs. Yeah, I wrote 600 songs for the series and all the 196 storylines. So it was it was a thrill. And I just, and just kept to, the copy going. Yeah, well, just to see the, the reaction all these years later, how it's impacted people has been so humbling and gratifying. You know, let's play that theme song, because it's if people who haven't even seen the show, they know this theme song that you wrote, Doug. Let's see if we can play that a little bit. On your watches, let's get organized. Let's do things right. Now, that's not the theme song. This is just another one of the songs there. But uh, tell us how this, what, lasted about three years or so, or four years? It seems like it was a lot longer than that. Well, it's, it, it aired for about how many years, Doug? Well, we premiered in 1972 on WGN right. in Chicago, which we're, you know, we have a lot of roots in Chicago. And uh, it, it went on through the 70s, the 80s, and the 90s, really, in mm -hmm. reruns. So it impacted quite a few generations of kids. So what was and then the... our daughter yeah. decided last New Year's Eve, she walked in the house and she said, Mom and Dad, I think you need to have a Facebook page. And we said, OK. <laughs> and it's just taken off. And we just had the most wonderful time meeting people that were children when we did the show. And now they're all grown up and just wonderful people leading productive lives. And it's just been extremely fun and rewarding to... Um, yeah. To see them again. What, what we was just got the... back from Comic Con in, yeah. in San Diego, and where we could see the reaction of just the people coming up, it was amazing. They were crying. We were crying. It was That's like great. a big family reunion. It really was. So, what was the approach? I mean, Sesame Street, Mr. Rogers, they were they were all educating children. But did you say, "Hey, I want to do something different"? Yeah, what was your purpose in creating the show? What did you want to people to well, understand? I mean, we wanted to take a different tack than Sesame Street and some of the other shows because they were focused on one, two, three, ABC. Mm -hmm. What I wanted to do was to talk to kids and tell them about relationships and how do you get along with your sister, your mom, your dad, your teacher. Oh. And, uh, you know, we, we wanted to get down to a relationship level. And I, I think that's what touched people mm -hmm. and uh, is still touching people. So I, I'm so grateful for that. Yeah. You had some legit uh, musicians working with you. I think Robin has, has found the uh, the intro, but we yeah, love to queue up here Yeah, here's that sec. intro that I remember. All right. We got, yeah, it was, it was it it lots of fun. We had a lot of music. It's like a mini musical, three songs in each show.
There you are. You haven't changed a bit, Doug. <laughs> Oh my God! There you are. I mean, well, is it weird looking back on these? My ago. goodness, yeah. But you know, in in the interim, for the last forty years, I've been uh, heading up my own production company, uh, actually out of Las Vegas, and we we were fortunate to do the U five hundred five museum exhibit right there at the Chicago Museum of Science and Industry. That's so right. I've been doing other things, but now with the resurgence of New Zoo, I'm I'm like you know, praying that this is where we're going to go. Now, I know the the, the guy who did uh, H&R Puff and stuff, is it, uh, they designed the costume for Freddy and, and the other characters on your show, right? Yes, actually, um, Sid and Marty Croft yes. built the costumes, and I, I conceptualized them, but the actual mechanics and everything, right, Freddy? Uh, they, <laughs> so is he uh, they, just they living in your house the all these years? <laughs> I mean, there's got to be a dark backstory there if he's still living with you. <laughs> Go ahead, spill it. Well, it's very hard living with a frog, <laughs> especially that big. Yeah. Uh, but we're getting used to it. All right. He, he was a big hit at Comic Con. Yeah, oh, my I goodness. Bet. All the kids just loved him. Well, you guys just have such a lovely, cheery disposition. I can see why you were, <laughs> it was such a successful show. It's just very genuine, and you seem so happy. It's lovely to check in with you, and we wish you all the best. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. We just um, really are enjoying ourselves and having a great time. Thank wow. you. You thank can you. find the News Review on all the socials. There it is. Great to talk to you guys. Thank you. Well, thank you so much. Take care.